G'day again guys and thank you for joining me. Today I'm drawing something that I have wanted to draw for a, such a long time. It's a bush turkey. Uh, living here in southeast Queensland, I see these birds every single day, usually as they just casually stroll up and down the road. Now, these birds are a little bit of a tourist icon around here, and you can find their image printed on all kinds of t-shirts and tea towels, uh, but many of the locals don't like these guys very much at all. Now, this might have something to do with the fact that they use their claws to dig up at these gigantic one metre tall nests, usually constructed out of somebody's very expensive landscaping or their very well established vegetable garden. But I really like these birds. They're pretty chilled out and usually pretty accustomed to humans. Uh, and they just kind of go around their day scratching in their dirt and doing their turkey thing. And I just kind of find them a bit charming and funny. So I just had to draw one. These birds have a really distinctive look that I've been trying to get a good reference photo of for years. But those long necks in their sort of odd turkey-like build has made it hard for me to get a photo which would fit well into an artsy composition. Finally, on one lucky trip to the beach, I came across a particularly curious turkey who came walking up towards me. So I had to take the chance to take the photo. It was a random chance picture, so I only had a few moments to pull out my phone and fumble around to hit the button. So the focus is a little bit rubbish and the com yeah, its composition's a bit rough, but I finally had a photo that I could imagine turning into a drawing. Now that I had this photo, I still wasn't entirely sure how it was going to work going forward. So I opened up an A3 canvas in Photoshop and experimented around with different crops and sizes on the screen. I decided to zoom right in on the head and neck since it really captured the personality of the turkey in a way that kind of made me laugh and I knew I was onto a winner. I had started off this piece with the intention of creating a realistic drawing, but as I got my line drawing into place and I looked at some different photos to look for some of the details that were missing from my impromptu photo, I noticed one big problem with this plan. These birds look freaking horrifying. As I looked at the different photos of these birds, I realized that they look like some kind of terrifying cross between a vulture and something that you would find in Jurassic Park. And they look angry too. Uh, with a close up zoom and no context, these birds look like cold blooded killers, which is very far from the chilled out dirt scratching bird that I wanted to portray. So I needed a change of plan. I started off by playing with his expression a little bit. I humanised his face a little by changing the fold above his eye a little. Now that fold did look like a very angry eyebrow in the reference photo. So I softened it a little bit by curving the line a little and turning his expression into something of a little bit of a more curiously raised eyebrow rather than a look of pure hatred. And this softened the look of the turkey instantly. As I went forward, I also tried to edit out any unnecessary wrinkles or crevices in his features, giving him a little bit of a facelift. I did have to be careful to keep the major structures and folds in place to make sure that he still looked like a turkey, but I did try to keep them to an absolute minimum. Once again, to really soften some of the harsher elements of his face. One of my favourite parts of this piece was really getting a chance to play up the colours. Now, usually when trying to be realistic, I'm kind of restricted to using more earthy tones. Even when I'm drawing something brightly coloured, usually making something realistic involves using somewhat less saturated colours. But not this time. While I was playing with the composition and editing out details, I thought why not turn the dial up to 11 on the colours. I got a chance to use some of the brightest colours in my collection together in a really fun way. Cadmium reds and yellows and phthalo blue. I really took the opportunity to play with those primary colours. Now I didn't want this piece to be too cartoony, so I did shift and change those brighter colours by using some areas of browns and greys and blacks to desaturate some places. But those small areas of pure bright brilliant colour are something that I really like in this piece. This was seriously fun to make. So here's the final piece and I love how this turned out. Far from being a carefully rendered, realistic piece, I think I really did capture the personality of these turkeys in a way I just couldn't have done by showing them off in their true, terrifying form. When I see this piece on my easel, it makes me smile and I don't think I could ask for more than that. 
I would just like to take a moment to thank my patrons. There is an hour and 20 minute long real time version of this drawing available to my $5 patrons available now over on my Patreon page. Uh, and now in this video I take a lot of time to talk about the difference between how I would work with this piece realistically and how I softened it into this semi-realistic drawing. I hope you guys enjoy. On to something a little bit more complicated next week, so I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a like or a comment to tell me what you think, and if you'd like to see some more of my work, then why not hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys.